Hello, this is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. In today's video, we will be reviewing for the 2022 Texas Star Math Test for third graders. Our concept is multipli multiplying and dividing word problems. This is part one. Remember third graders, if you're always trying to be normal, you will never know how amazing you can be. We have our third grade math and reading review workbooks available for purchase in our store. The links are in the description box so that you can grab yours today. Do you need a math or reading tutor? We offer virtual one-on-one -on -one and group tutoring for second to eighth grade students. Parents, there's a link in the description box for you to sign up for a free 30 minute consultation. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell, and smash that like button so that you will be alerted to new videos we upload and also spread the word about Hype Math. We greatly appreciate your support. Now let's look at some words we may read whenever we see word problems and it means multiplying or dividing. For multiplying, we see we have times, each, in all, twice, per, area, factor, multiple, multiplied by, and equal groups. For division, we see half, same, split, quotient, divisor, equal group, separate, distribute, divided by, cut up and shared equally. Now, these are not all of the words that um, we'll see in word problems, but they're the most common ones used. Let's look at number 31. And remember, we have our third grade math review workbook available for purchase in our store. Zachary lists some different methods he thinks he can use to solve the multiplication problem shown which is eight times four. Which of these is not a method Zachary can use to get the correct answer? So let's look at A. For A, we have an array where we see that we have four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight columns, and in each column, there are four circles. For B, we have eight times eight times eight times eight, for C, we have the multiples of four all the way up to 32. And for D, we see that we have hops and it's every fourth number that we have a hop all the way to 32. Now, in order to solve this problem, the first thing we are going to ask ourselves is, what are we looking for? We are looking for the answer choice that is not a method, that means it's all the way wrong, that Zachary can use to get the correct answer. Now that we know what we're looking for, the next question we're gonna ask ourselves is, well, what information can help us find the answer? The information that can help us find the answer is eight times four is equal to 32, okay? Now that we have that information, how are we going to solve the problem? Great question. What we need to do is we need to, for A and B, figure out what our total is. And for A, we said that we had eight columns, and in each column there are four balls, so eight times four is equal to 32. B, we have eight times eight times eight times eight, that's equal to 4,096. For C, we see that we have the multiples of four, again, all the way up to 32. And for D, we have hops where there's a hop for every fourth number all the way up to 32. Now that we know that information, what is the correct answer? Well, since we know that we're looking for all of the methods we can use, to find eight times four is equal to 32, which answer choice does not have an answer or a total of 32? And I know that you see it. <laughs> yes, it is B, 4,096. Now, why is that wrong? I'm glad that you asked. So 
eight times eight times eight times eight, the fact that we multiplied all of the eights is what makes this method incorrect. To make it correct, we need to change our multiplication signs to addition signs. Eight plus eight plus eight plus eight is equal to 32. So yes, B is the correct answer. It was not the method Zachary could use. Let's look at number 32. The model shown can represent two number sentences. Which two number sentences can, mod can the model represent? So we see that we have three columns of two squares, a total of six, and let let's look at our answer choice. We have for our number sentences, three times three, and also three plus three. For G, we have three times two and three plus three. For H, we have two times three and two times two times two. For J, we have three plus three plus three and two plus two plus two. The first question we need to ask ourselves is, of course, what are we looking for? We are looking for the two number sentences that the model represents. And our model is the, the stars that we have. And again, we have three columns and in each column there are two, two stars. I wanted to say square so bad guys, but it's star. <laughs> now that we know what we're looking for, well, what information can help us find the answer? And again, we know that there are two rows with three stars or we have three columns with two stars each. Now that we have that information, well, how are we gonna solve the problem? Well, let's solve the number sentences in our answer choices to see if it correctly represents our model. So let's start with F. We have three times three, that is equal to nine, and three plus three, that is equal to six. For J, um, for G, we have three times two is equal to six, and three plus three is equal to six. For H, we have two times three is equal to six, and two times two times two is equal to eight. For J, we have three plus three plus three, that is equal to nine, and two plus two plus two is equal to six. So what is our correct answer? Well, what we need to do is we need to find the two number sentences, of course, that have the same value, and that value needs to be six. Do you see it? And if you answer G, you're absolutely correct. The way that the two number sentences that can model that represents this model is three times two is equal to six and also three plus three is equal to six. And that is it third graders for our multiplying and dividing word problems part one. So yes, that means it will be a part two. Don't forget we have our third grade math and reading review workbooks available for purchase in our store. And if you need a math tutor, parents can sign up for a free consultation. This is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. I will talk to you later.